All right, so we just got to the first couple sales we're gonna stop at. This is kind of a high-end area, and it is some moving sales. They're moving. Hopefully we're gonna and do a good job. We're gonna park in their private tennis court and walk over down the street here. These, these are some big houses, and this is definitely a really high-end area. Look at the, look at the tennis courts. Nice area. Um, hopefully, we can find something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's a moving sale, so they want to get rid of everything, right? Um. <coughs> yes. Yeah. They moved in, and they're expecting like two houses. Yeah. So. They like gave away two generators the other day. Oh wow. Or had two and gave away one. But a generator got given away at least one, and I think she said she had two. I don't. Know. Cool. So we've got, ooh, we've got some construction right here. We got concrete truck. That's our competition right there for my regular job. You want me to go like this? McClellan. I'll pour my coffee into their concrete. McClellan concrete. Oh, that would be mean for the people. Rally ready mix. <laughs> All right, so I think the sale is at this house here. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so this is the first one. The other one is way back there in the woods. So, let's see what we can find. Thank you. Good morning. Good, how are you? Down back, right? Okay, great. But you can just walk the back yard. Down. Yep. Okay. But the side, you go down the sidewalk and just take the next left too. Yep. Do, do, do. You guys doing the sick of the matter tomorrow? Oh, that's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, today is. I didn't even. Made Remember that. To be with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big guy. Uh, Star Wars fan. But... Uh, I mean, I like Star Wars, but where I work, they're having a big party. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is... These, uh, are these golf shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a pair of soccer shoes, but there's a pair of golf shoes. Yeah, they look like brand new. Okay. All right, well, we might stop back on the way out again. Um, we'll see what they got and then we'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Wonder what they got. I think they got anything good? They probably have a puppy. A puppy? And I'm gonna get it. Oh I'm man. Out. Everything at that place was overpriced. Oh. Way overpriced. I didn't even ask. Well, we are in the. Yeah. Overpriced, she was gonna give you a TV for $5. Yeah, but. Yeah. Ooh, they're carting it out. Look at this house, dude. This is huge. It's a balcony. Huge house. Just a. Calligraphy, not take it, buy it. Buy it, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. That might be that might be good. So Just hold right on here. to it. Wow, look at all this stuff, huh? Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is cool. What, the music this is really cool. Gibson guitars. Light up sign. $2. That's cool. I'm gonna take that. 
Ooh. Hold this. <laughs> Good morning, Olivia. How are you? How are you? I can't get to you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I sent that up. I told you. There's still a lot of like little things around and walk around. I'm okay. Oh, uh, we'll be walking around. <laughs> Have you gone to the 29 one? Yes, we went there first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We saw that one first, and then as we were walking, we saw the road. He goes, oh, I think there's a house. And I'm like, that's right. 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 Have fun looking. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm like, I'm just astonished. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Is it okay if we like You're put stuff good. in a bag and then bring it to you and then? Oh, so, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Helping out. All right. You're doing good. Like You're doing good. Helpers. <laughs> All right. Me to get yeah, there's a bag in my backpack. <laughs> this is, like his favorite is this your? Go for it. Yeah. Ryan, nice, nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you. I have bags. We'll start a bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it. You want all that? The thing? Yep. Okay. Well, I'll hold this because it's glass. Okay. I like that they have music. Is there a power cord for this? I'm not seeing a power cord. Maybe it's in a different spot. Yeah. Then there though. What? What? I love I love making a bag. It's fun. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I told you they have a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Grab this because I don't grab that. Yeah. Ooh. Excuse you guys me. need like a patio or something? Um, I don't know what you need. Yep. Take that. Don't mind me. Sorry, I don't want to. No, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's cool. How much do they want for it? Ten bucks for Roger Clemens. Pretty cool. That is cool. Grab that. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Do 
then you're gonna you, you gonna sell this, Jeff? Okay. So we can spread it out so you can see it. A bunch of manga books. I've got a, I've got a couple things. I told you he loves it. I told you that. You might get authority to drive down the drive. If you don't mind, I absolutely will. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Do you want to put that down somewhere and I'll take out the store for the mangoes? Yeah, I grabbed the mangoes. Yeah. Is there really? So it's gonna be on YouTube now? I actually do have a channel, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then what do you do with all this stuff? Just so you don't sell it. Sell some stuff, but someday you'll be doing this stuff. I know. Uh, seriously. We just, just we just bought a house. So And he has a designated room and I said if anything comes out of the room, I'm gonna chuck it. Because I am a purger yeah. and he is like no. <laughs> uh, but I figure if I come with him I can kinda contain him a little bit. I like that, that's cool. Do you know if that's like authentic or? It's, I think it is authentic, but I don't have the certification. Right. On it, you know. Right. But, uh, like if I was gonna sell it on eBay, I think you need to show up. Authenticity. Yeah. yeah. Tim's father got it at a auction or something. Huh. That's cool. It was a gift. You can get it authenticated anyway. You just want a plaque to go in the room too? <laughs> it's just a little piece of paper. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to buy. All right. <laughs> what do you got in there? We got well, all those mangas. Yeah. This sign here. Okay. Um, that that ball. Then I got this. Um, Pokemon Master Trainer. We got the Xbox. We got this crate full of miscellaneous stuff. Oh. Do you have a power cord for this Xbox? Because I didn't see one. I don't know where it is. I don't yeah. know where it is. Okay. And then I grabbed this camera here. How about sixty dollars? Sixty bucks. Um. What are you thinking? Would you do fifty for it all? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what I have in my pocket here. Since you're VIP. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. 20, 40, 50. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. But we can carry that, it, right? And then the rest is just this, okay. right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want to put this in that bag and have it broke. Yeah. Because I know you want to see it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right, take care, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Yeah, I'll set. We'll just carry it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Thank you. We'd be all excited. Hey, now you don't have <laughs> Never woke up so early and it's like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> have a good uh, day. See ya. Yes, good luck. Where are we? We're at the Bagel Cafe. Whoa, we don't have to scream. I am so excited. They have the best bagels and the best cream cheese ever. I would dumpster dive here. There's a dumpster right there. I will find some of these leftover bagel because it will be that delicious. Eat it. Eat it right out of there. They dumpster. make all their bagels and stuff like fresh. Dumpster bagel? I would dumpster bagel. All right, let's go. I'm already gone. <laughs> so as you can see, that one house was pretty insane, wasn't it? What house? <laughs> what house? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was, it was pretty insane. Um, that was way more than I thought. Like, I knew she said that, that it was going to be two houses combined into one to get rid of stuff, but I don't know. The first house we went to was, was not good. There, there was a couple things in there that we maybe could have bought, 
but nothing that was like really good. And we're trying to pick good stuff lately. Get a little bit good more stuff. picky choosy. Yeah, so, um, so the h other house we went to, the second one where we got all the stuff, was an absolute score. And we're gonna run through everything that we picked up with you guys right now. So the first thing we picked up was some manga books. And these are, I believe, like a Japanese sort of book. They're like written in reverse. It's strange. I'm sure a lot of people like, know what manga books are. Like but... backwards, not reverse. Yeah, they're like, yeah, backwards. Like the end it's of really the book, strange. you have to read it like as if, as if you're three. And yeah. And you don't know how to really read a book. That's yeah. how I felt like. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's strange. It's but fun. anyway, we have never found those before. I knew about manga books because of Justin over at RVA Flips. He picked up a bunch of them. I don't know, maybe two or three weeks ago, and he listed them. I think he already sold them, pretty sure. He put them in a big lot, sold them, or a couple lots. I'm not sure what he did, but anyway, I hope that's we how get I. Justin Luck. What? I hope we get Justin Luck. Justin Luck? Yeah. <laughs> um, but that was the reason I picked them up, because I knew he had good luck with them, so I just figured I'd grab them. I saw just a big box, or like a big, I think it was a basket, a basket just full of them. So I just grabbed the whole basket, and added it to our haul, and we got a total of 19 of them, which is pretty cool. And a lot. yeah, <laughs> so I don't know how we'll do with them. I mean, I didn't comp up them at all. Probably we'll just sell them in a big lot and then ship them out. Well, let's go media they mail. Let's go media mail, probably right. Mingus. What is it? Mangus. Manga. Manga. Yeah. There's a manga Bible in it. Too. Yeah, there is. Yep. It's almost like the combination of Justin and Lonnie. <laughs> the next thing that I found that I threw in our big bundle was the Magellan Sports Track little handheld GPS system. I figured that that would do okay. Some of those Magellans can can be sort of decent. They can they can uh, sell for good money. Uh, I did think that this was probably a little bit of a lower end one just by the way it looked and and stuff like that. Um, and you didn't check comps. While yeah, we while we were there, I didn't look up anything on eBay at all, really. So there was like a lot of people around. Yeah, it was pretty. And as you guys crazy. know, they were more interested in the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody was like, yeah. There was this guy. There was this guy, right? I think it was the husband of the the girl putting the yard sale on. And like, I'm in the garage, like looking around at stuff, and then he just. And it's like a three-bay garage, and Ryan's yeah. on one side, and the guy's on the complete opposite side. Yeah, it just screams from across the garage. What are you doing with that GoPro? I'm like, uh, filming? Yeah. He's like, are you filming the yard sales with your GoPro? I'm like, yeah. And then later on, he was like, are we going to be on YouTube? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I have a channel. I was just like, you're being so loud and obnoxious. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> but, um. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. The Magellan Sorry. GPS. Yeah, that was funny. The Magellan GPS, I think we can get probably 20 to $30 for that, de depending on like how old it is. I think it's a little older, so maybe closer to 20 plus shipping. Um, yeah, so decent. The next item was the Canon G10 Ooh. digital camera. We I, always do good with cameras. Yeah, I, uh, I found that in the garage like on the ground I think in a bucket or something and I opened it up and I pulled it out and I could tell just by the weight of it and you know the there was lots of like buttons I don't know anything about photography really or cameras but I could just tell that it was probably a little bit higher end than just like a normal digital camera so I grabbed that and looked up comps that camera is probably I could probably get at least a hundred for it I'm thinking more honestly it came with an extra lens and it came with all the chargers and stuff. I actually already charged it up and tested it and it works great. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It comes with some pictures of puppies. Yeah, there's some pictures <laughs> of their dogs on the memory card. I told him I was gonna buy a puppy today. He didn't believe me. He actually <laughs> bought me a puppy. I mean, a picture of one, but still. A picture of one, yeah. Um, next item was that Roger Clemens signed autographed baseball. It's an official MLB baseball. Wait, it's, who found that though? You found that, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's in a nice glass case with a. It's like a baseball stand. Yeah, with yeah, with Roger Clemens' name like you know plaque what? on it. Just put it right here. Yeah, you're seeing it. 
<laughs> but uh, but that was a pretty cool find. I asked the lady if she knew if it was authentic and if she had authentic, like authenticity papers for it. She didn't know where they were. But she did say it was authentic. But again, right. without paperwork is. Yeah, it's it's kind of a hit or miss. Given the situation, rich neighborhood, she said she didn't know where the papers were. Like, why would she lie about that? Why would they buy fake merchandise? They probably bought good expensive merchandise. And we saw a football that went, when we were walking up, yes. we saw a signed football that was going out with paperwork. Right. So, so she would know the difference. Too. Exactly. But also, huge, huge shout out to John Cincinnati Picker. Yep. First off, congratulations, you just had your baby. Well, hopefully your wife had your baby. But <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, we were able to talk to John and he also uh, took a like, look at the baseball and gave us some uh, advice. Yeah. So huge shout out to John. Yeah, thanks, well. thanks John for the help on that. I hope you're getting um, more sleep, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he, he, seemed, he did a little bit of research for us. And cause like I've never dealt in any sports memorabilia or anything like that. And I knew he had, so I reached out to him and he, uh, he took the time to check it out for us. And he said that the ball is most likely authentic and that it looks like it checks out. So if any of you aren't following his channel, by the way, yeah. Ryan, put his link below. I'll put, I'm yeah, I'll put executive decision okay. right now okay. on our wall. <laughs> Okay, I'll put John's channel link down below. I'm sure everybody knows who he is, but if you He's by chance nice don't, yeah, really cool guy. Go check him out and uh, go subscribe. Maybe he'll have his baby on there one day. <laughs> this is actually a funny story. Just the other day, I was thinking about how I wanted to find a Pokemon Master Trainer board game, and I've never found one. I know that they can be worth some good money. Like a complete one is worth like a hundred dollars. I have no idea. Easily. What they were. Yeah, the sell-through rate on them is crazy. They sell like wildfire. Really popular game. It's a vintage game. I believe it's from like 1998 or something. I think it's from the night, like late 90s. But anyway, just the other day I was I was talking about it and how I wanted to find one. I've never found one. And I walk in the garage and it's just sitting there. I'm like, are you kidding me? I was just talking about this. So I go and pick it up and I didn't even look in the box because, you know, what? What are you laughing at? I just think the funniest part of that story is that you were walking in the garage because this was you. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys are missing is the Kia bag that he had that he shoved everything into. <laughs> no, but um, so I, I went and grabbed it right away. I didn't even look in the box to make sure it was if it was complete or not. I didn't really care. I was just excited to find it. And um, we went through it and it is missing some pieces. It has most of them. However, we can, I mean, it'll still sell fine. Honestly, I don't know what we're gonna be able to get for it. I know complete, they're worth $100. So I'm thinking, I don't know, we can get some money for it still. I think it depends regardless. on how much stuff is actually missing. Right. I was able to do some research online and it actually gave me a complete breakdown of exactly what should be in there, how many of each pieces. There's quite a few pieces, what each little token, which I think there's like 100 tokens or 150 tokens um and what they should say and things like that so i still have some counting to do but yeah so regardless we'll still make some money on it but uh it is not complete unfortunately so not a huge deal but i'm still excited to find it so you know? i have a question what's that does that like check off your bucket list or oh uh, yeah yeah I'll, I'll i'll count that as a as my one of my finds finding it for sure fair enough <laughs> keep on dreaming you crazy dreamer next we found a gibson guitar sign i think it might have been from like a guitar shop or something because it says like sales and service or something on it and it lights up and um it like I, I tested it out i plugged it in it works great and it's really it's a really cool sign actually and i couldn't find any comps on it actually but it's fine i, I think it'll sell gibson's such a big name and it's such a popular guitar company i don't think i'll have any problem selling it I just think it's a really cool piece, so I grabbed that as well. What the heck was that? <laughs> what are you doing? Pokemon battle. What, what are you doing? Making your dreams come true. Oh. <laughs> I threw a grenade. <laughs> Next, we had a PSP. It's the original PSP because they made the first generation, which was like kind of thick and bulky, and then they came out with a thinner one. And this is definitely the original one. I know that because I used to own one myself. I still need to test it. It came with a charger. It came with a bunch of games too that I'll have to test. 
But um, poor thing, you've been testing so many games lately. <laughs> I know. It's starting to wear. But <laughs> but I'm thinking I don't know maybe like 30, 30 to forty on that. Maybe more. I don't know. I haven't looked up comps at all. So I'm not complaining though. I'll sell that all day. I'm sure that'll sell. Not not won't be a problem there. For if sure. it doesn't, he's just gonna keep it and keep testing the games anyway. <laughs> I know how this plays out. I've seen it. <laughs> Next, an Xbox. It's an older version Xbox. Unfortunately, I don't have the power cable for it. I asked her if she had it, and she said she didn't know where it was, which that's fine. I just took it anyway. It came with two controllers, and it came with like the AV cables, but no power supply, so I'll have to get one of those. It's not a big deal, but. I'm sure you can find one. Yeah, I'm thinking on that, maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. Maybe a little less. I don't know. I'll have to look up comps on that again. I'm just guessing on that. But nevertheless, still still a good find for next to nothing. Yeah. Might as well grab it because <laughs> that's how much it cost us next to nothing. Mm -hmm. Then we got a Bluetooth smart plane. I just saw this in the garage. I grabbed it because it's brand new. It's still sealed and everything. Mm -hmm. Never been taken out. And it's basically just like a little RC plane that you can run with your smartphone, I believe. And I looked up comps, I scanned the barcode on it, and two active listings came up, and they're both listed for around $40. And there's none that have sold, but that's okay. I mean, I don't think we'll have a prob it problem winter. selling it. What's that? It was winter, so maybe yeah. now they'll be off. Yeah, so. We're not allowed to test that one, though. No, I won't test it. Because it's brand new, I don't have to. Flying, he broke it. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> and kicked it actually because it wouldn't shut off. <laughs> yeah, bread and butter, I guess. Uh, another little bonus item, I'll say. So we'll see. We'll see if we can sell that. And then finally, these items have been in no particular order, by the way. Just listing off what we have. And the last thing on the list was a like classic pen set. I think it's like a vintage mechanical pencil set. It's pretty nice. Um, it's we actually that was the first item we found there when we were walking up to the sale. It was sitting there, and you were like, "What is this?" And you opened it up, and uh, yeah, so we grabbed that. That was. I looked up the comps on eBay and should be able to get ten to twenty on that easily. So not too bad. Another little bonus item to go along with our whole haul. So. And then also we got a ton of video games. We got Nintendo DS games, we got some PlayStation, I think one PlayStation game, some computer games, and then we got a bunch of GameCube games as well. And I'm going to cut to some footage now and I'll show you all the games that we picked up. So in this incredible lot, we got a lot of games. So I'm just gonna run through them real quick so you can see exactly what games we got. I'm not gonna show any comps, but I'm just going to run through them. Uh, so we have, I think these are just computer games, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Disney Princess, Victory at Hebron, Company of Heroes, uh, Flight Simulator 2004, Starry Night, Lego Racer 2, I remember playing this one back in the day. Um, and then we have, this is a PS4 game actually, this is Grand Theft Auto 5, and then, I don't even know what this is, this is probably just junk, something for Lego wireless router or something. <laughs> um, these probably aren't worth much, but I just wanted to show that we did get those as well. And then we have multiple PSP games here. We have Star Wars Battlefront. We have Star Wars 2. We have Tomb Raider. Um, Rainbow Six Vegas. We have another Star Wars Battlefront 2. So actually these are duplicates, I believe. So we have two of those. And then we have Need for Speed Most Wanted. So that is that for the PSP games. This came in the in the box. So all of this video game stuff came in this little crate. You saw me pick it up at the yard sale. But um, so this ended up coming in the box as well. This is Pokemon. I gotta clean this up and also test it, make sure it works. Pokemon, the red version from Game Boy Advance. Um, these are probably, these are pretty sought after, I believe. So that's cool. That was a bonus, I didn't even know we got that when we bought this. And then we have the Nintendo DS games. We have Avalon Code, Super Mario 64 DS, Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter what? I think it's just Harry Potter. 
And then we have Final Fantasy right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, it came in this. They came in this carrying case here with the actual console itself. So that is good. And then also, I wish they had the actual console, but I didn't see it there. I should have asked them. That's, this was a fail on my part, but this is a book of GameCube games. Um, I'll just run through what they are real quick. We have Defender, uh, NBA Live 2004, Lord of the Rings, we have NFL Street, that's a good one. Um, we've got F0GX, whatever that is. Um, SSX3, don't know that one either. Uh, we got Star Wars Rogue Leader. We got 007, Everything or Nothing. We got Top Gun. We got ATV. Quad Power Racing 2. We got Tony Hawk Underground 2. We've got, what is this one here? Um, Power, Rocket Power, Nickelodeon Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Okay. And then we have some other loose ones here. We've, we've got Peter Jackson's Hong Kong, the official game of the movie. And then we've got Agent Under Fire, 007. And then we've got Madden 2005. So that's pretty cool there. I was excited about the GameCube games. Those would be cool. I wish they had cases with them, but unfortunately they do not. But that pretty much sums up the video games in this haul. So with that being said, we spent a total of $50 at that sale. The woman originally, like when I brought everything to her and showed her what I had and asked her what she would want for all the items, she told me $60 and I counted her with 50 and she took it. So that was pretty awesome. I was like stoked. I would have paid 60, but I just figured why not get it a little cheaper, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so with the calculations of us paying $50 and we have about 15 different um, items that we're gonna do because we're gonna do some lots and things. That turns out to be three dollars and thirty-three cents per lot. Right. So That's crazy. Yeah, it's technically less than that because, you know, we have the nineteen manga books. We got mm -hmm. the tons of video games. So it's actually really less than that. But it, like, if you just bundle stuff together, it comes out to three dollars and thirty-three cents like per each item. Category. Yeah. Type so item. pretty amazing. So anyway, today was a really fun day, right? Really fun. It's always fun when you make good. Yeah, this was definitely our biggest yard sale haul ever, I would say, as far as what we paid versus what we got. Mm. And the most profitable trip we've ever made, for sure. The in yep. for the out. Yep. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was I did. this was crazy fun. I did. You did? Yes. Good. I'm glad you did. Actually <laughs> I don't know, you haven't made it yet. <laughs> but uh jury's out. <laughs> We did go to some more yard sales, and that footage will be coming out next week. So Good, keep an. This is a long video. I know this is a long video. So <laughs> keep an eye out for that, and yeah, we'll see you guys, you guys in the next later. one. Have a great rest of your weekend. Yes. Bye. Bye.